Thanks very much, Joe. <laughs> Melody Patrick from Index on Censorship. Hi, everyone. So, I'm Melody from Index on Censorship, which is another free speech organization. We've been around for a bit more than 40 years campaigning for freedom of expression, um, denouncing censorship all over the world. And it almost, it would amuse me if it wasn't so horrible and, and, and terrible, the situation we, we're at, when people can pretend that trade is not related to human rights, or that our economic interests are, have no ties whatsoever to human rights and politics. Because the reason why there are economic sanctions, or trade sanctions and trade agreements and ethics, um, even ethics agreements now in trade <coughs> agreements, means that human rights and, and politics are at the core of our societies and that you cannot just dissociate human rights from trade, human rights from sports, human, it is just part of what makes us a society and freedom of expression is at threat, freedom of expression is at risk. Earlier this year, um, INDEX awarded its Freedom of Expression Journalism Award to one of Raif's compatriots, um, Saudi journalist Safa Al Ahmed, and she um, last year published a documentary about a repressed uprising in the east of the country, in Saudi Arabia, and today she is no longer able to go to Saudi Arabia to I would not speak on her behalf, but I would just quote what she said. She said, for the film I made that tells this story and shares my opinion, I've been accused of lying and spying, advocating terrorism, aiding and baiting terrorists, and of course, I have been called a heretic. And we all know what that accusation means uh, in Saudi Arabia when being a heretic can lead you to death. So the situation of Raif today being sentenced to 10 years in prison in addition to the thousand lashes he faced and this situation of every single week not knowing whether he is going to be flogged or not is unsustainable. There, there, there can be no excuse whatsoever for not speaking out against this situation and that's why it encourages me to see you in the room, to see members of the government um, in the room and to be in this space even because <laughs> Us being in this space just proves the point that you cannot dissociate freedom of expression for other national interests. And I am hoping that together um, we, we find solutions to put pressure on the government to speak out, to also put pressure on the Saudi government to immediately release Raif but also to think of sustainable solutions within the country, because as Joe said earlier, it's not just about uh, right, but I think it's perfect for the